It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to the channel, part 145. Uh, this is like a... Another situation where I forgot to mention a movie in one episode, and I was like, well, I guess I have to do it in another. This happened with me in Ambulance last year, <laughs> last December, so... It's kind of happened again this year, so... Yay! Anywho... We're talking about one movie today, and that's Creed 3. Now, Creed 3, it's been delayed. But how it's been delayed has been very weird. Because, see, it originally had a date of November 23rd, 2022. They set that date back, I think, March of 2021. And it just stayed there. But then I found out via, like, the numbers that it was, like, removed from that date and i tried looking up like officially mgm saying something but i didn't get anything i i legitimately tried searching and i got no results i was like huh this is really weird i'm gonna wait till someone says something before i make a video on it and it seems like they finally said something i don't know why it took them this long <laughs> but yeah so Create 3, it got delayed to March 2023. More specifically, March 3rd, 2023. So, beginning of March, it's going to be going up against Dungeons & Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, which, honestly, I don't think that's going to be much of a problem for Creed 3. <laughs> Just saying. But it is very different for the series. It's not, it's not having, like, a holiday date anymore, which is going to be odd <laughs> since the last two creed movies were like thanks open on thanksgiving this isn't so strange it's like having a ghostbusters movie not open in the summer <laughs> something's very off about it but that's the decision they made and i kind of it kind of makes sense because we have yet to receive like a trailer for creed 3 like we've seen we've gotten nothing out of it i mean freaking well, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, that has a trailer. And that was going to come out like two weeks before Creed 3. Freaking Strange World has a trailer. That was That's going to be coming out the 23rd of November. Avatar, The Way of Water has a trailer. And that doesn't come out till December 16th. And then it was Shazam 2, Puss in Boots 2. Like, all these movies have trailers except the Creed 3. So I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that it got pushed back. See, that's the thing. That's what you gotta look out for. You know, the gap between the release of a trailer and the release of the movie, right? If that re if that gap is too close, then that's a sign that movie's getting pushed back. And that's what happened here. So, um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh... It's... Yeah, uh... It's... Apparently, production began, like, early 2022 and wrapped up in, like, middle of the year. So, I guess that makes sense. I guess they don't want to, like, rush to the finish line, which uh, is, is never, ever a good thing. Yeah, absolutely never a good thing. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this March date... I mean, it's good, but it's also, like, again, just unnatural for anything rocky related so yeah it's just weird but it is now officially official official it's moving to 2023 so yeah so any of you who are looking forward to creed 3 which will apparently be the first rocky move without a sylvester stallone so no more rocky <laughs> Technically, it's like having Scream 6 without you know, Sydney there. Same thing. Um, So that's going to be weird. And both of those movies are coming out the same month. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah, that's literally it. I don't have much to say about it. But besides, it's now in 2023. It's official. So, yeah. Now it is time to play everyone's favorite game, and that's what will happen next. I already mentioned that the rest of the 2022 looks stable enough to me, although I could be wrong. 
stuff can absolutely happen that causes some of these 2022 movies to either get pushed back a little bit or pushed all the way the next year. I don't know, but it seems like the rest of the 2022 movies, there's no reason for them to get pushed back. Like, no legitimate reason. So, yeah. Like, everything from August, September, October, November, December, like, why push anything back? It'd be kind of pointless. There are all these movies that are, like, in the ether. Some of them, like, literally just got announced and that's it. Others are like finished production and they are just collecting dust as we speak so i don't know what will happen to some of these but i don't know we'll we'll see and then 2023 you got january then you got february then march creed 3 is now opening the same day as dungeon dragons honor among thieves and March is pretty packed when it comes to movies. Big-ish movies. I mean, we got Aquaman 2. We got John Wick 4. We got Scream 6. Well, that's, that's a pretty solid list. There's Haunted Mansion, but really, like, does that movie stand a chance? I don't think so. I don't think Dungeons & Dragons stands much of a chance <laughs> either. So, yeah, but March 2023 is going to be a month to look out for. When it comes to like big movies coming out. So yeah. Then there's April. I already mentioned this many times. Last Train in New York. That's undated. Probably cancelled at this point. <laughs> that's been replaced with Salem's Lot. So yeah. So there's that. Then they got May. May 12th is when Book Club 2 comes out. Then June. I still think The Flash. The chances of it coming out are not good at all they're very low i feel like warner brothers might pull the plug on it just like how they pulled the plug on batgirl <laughs> that's just my opinion but we'll see what happens with that then you got july then august then um september then october november december and yeah and then we go on from there Obviously, stuff's going to go down next year. What? I don't know. Depends on, like, the production of these movies. Because you really can't use COVID as much of an excuse anymore. I think it's mainly just, like, production reasons. Like, apparently, there's, like, this big, like, backlog of movies that are have yet to be released because of, like, VFX work. And, obviously, VFX, that takes a lot of time. And if you don't take your time with that, if you rush through with that, disaster will happen. <laughs> Look what happened with cats. Okay, we do not need another situation like that ever. So, yeah, there's been like a, a backlog of movies, you know, that are just stuck <laughs> dealing with visual effects, you know, work. So, we'll see if that improves over time, but yeah, yeah. But anywho... Yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? I got playlists on the homepage for all previous uh, cancel episodes I've done on the channel, you know, all 145, including this one. The one I did literally like an hour ish before this, well, over an hour before this, talked about Batgirl and Scoob being legitimately canceled, axed, just killed. So, that was exciting. So, you want to watch that. And I also talked about Creed 3 before. I think the actual episode, I have to find it. Creed, it was episode 46. I talked about that alongside The Unholy and Black Widow, where I mistakenly said it was going to keep the May release date, because that's what some, uh, Disney said. and But then, like, Four episodes later, they were like, nah, we're, we're going, it's going to Disney Plus the same day as theaters and get delayed too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was not one of my, uh, not one of my greatest moments saying that. But this is what I thought at the time. Hell, even the description I put at this point in time <laughs> with Black Widow. So, 
Yeah. But if you want to watch that episode or any others, go right ahead. Binge them from like beginning to now. Watch them all. See how things have evolved. You know, highly encourage it. Go do that. There's also box office predictions where I predict box office for movies. Um, so, uh, this weekend I do Bullet Train and Easter Sunday. That should be interesting. <laughs> so stay tuned for those videos. But if you want to watch any of the past uh, prediction videos I made this year, you can go right ahead. There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. Um, uh, July recap will come out technically today on Wednesday. <laughs> After like publish and everything, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past recap videos I've done on the channel, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.